Hey everyone, and welcome back around the kitchen table for this week's episode of Commander with Friends. Joining us, we have Revelo, who's playing Chandra. We've got Chrono playing Alicia. We've got Woody playing Wolfgar. And we've got Jason playing Amex and Rebe. Hope you enjoy the game. If you're new to the channel, or if you're one of the 80% who watched our videos and haven't yet subscribed, Go and hit that subscribe button now. Hope you enjoy the game. Cool, right, well I'll kick us off with the mm -hmm. Path of Ancestry, which will come in tapped and then pass. Okay, right. So, I was confused for a minute. I thought, wait, that's a, how, how are you doing that in real life? And I thought, oh, you're using a box <laughs> Yeah. That's Okay, um, I'm going to be that guy. Uh, mountain, <laughs> tap, turn one, soul ring. Uh -huh. Go. Yeah, right, there we are. I'm already the arch enemy. <laughs> no, you're fine. You didn't play Arcane Signet off it. Yeah, all, all jet or uh, ruby medallion. Yeah. <laughs> I need the medallions. I, I don't think a medallion will fit in the budget of that deck. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Opal Palace, Sega. Okay. Oh, interesting. Um, secluded courtyard naming vampire. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> uh, well, untap and draw. I'll play a forest. I, I knew it. We'll tap forest and a uh, path for a red. I'm going to play a ruby. Daring Tracker. Ooh, nice. Uh, it's a 2 1 with haste, and whenever Ruby attacks while I control a creature with power 4 or greater, Ruby will get plus 2, plus 2. And I can, and or, I could tap for a red or a green. Um, but whilst everybody's open, I'll, uh, have, to, I'll have to attack Rev because he's on Salt Ring. So <laughs> take one. It's, it's, it's the principle behind it, isn't yeah. it? So. Uh, and then it needs to go, mate. Yeah, there we are. It's um, I, I accept, I accept my um, I accept my fate. <laughs> uh, right. Let's do. Let's play another mountain. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Well, let's um, let's return at the favor. I'll tap. I'll tap three. I'll see. So yeah, um, pay two. I'm going to play Impact Tremors. Nice. Oh. And then using remaining colorless uh, from Song of Remaining Mountain, I'll play Runaway Steamkin. Everyone takes one. Sure. Start. Start. So, perfectly balanced. Perfect. Uh huh. Um, oh, I better take one. And then pass the turn. Steamkin. I tap upkeep draw. I will play the swamp. Uh, tap two for a Kalwas Dome and Ooh. pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Ah, okay. Uh, I'll play a swamp and tap two for an arcane signet and say go. Cool. I, uh... Yeah, I'll leave that where it's doing. Uh, untap and draw. Ooh, I will play a mountain. And uh, oh, just taking the initiative work right now. No, that's going to be a pain. So uh, tap for four, and I will play a Chad robot. <laughs> I shall go get a basic forest, mm -hmm. and that will be me. Okay. Right, untippity tap. Draw. Okay. Another mountain. Then, uh, right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I'll tap the soul ring and 
two mountains. I'll break, play Chandra for Kaladesh. Um, so Runaway Simkin gets a counter, a 1 1 counter, and you will take one damage. Okay. Oh, yeah. For some reason, my mouse is playing up. <laughs> then I will. Uh, do I want to do anything else? Um, I'll tap. Yeah, so I've got one colorless floating, so I'll tap Mountain. I'll play Smoldering Egg. Um, Steam can get some counter. You will take another one. Okay. And pass the turn. Oh, do I want to go to combat with anyone? Um, is anyone open? Yes. Uh, Jason, I will swing the Steamkin at you for two, uh, three. three. And then pass turn. Exciting play. Actually, proper Terramorphic expense will get a planes. Uh, but I'll shortcut everything by tapping this, this, and this to play my Commander Aramix. And then crack this, go get me a planes, and then pass the turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, we will play Thunhome, Fortress of the Legion. Then we will tap one and two for a Pillar of Origins, naming Vampire. Doing the same thing as a secluded courtyard, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Can't use that to actually cast anything else. So we will simply pass the turn. <clears throat> okay. I'll untap and I'll draw. I will play a mountain for turn. <clears throat> Ooh, that could do stuff and some things. <clears throat> Let's build up a bit more there, I think. So, one, two, three, and four. I will play an Undermountain Adventurer. When it ETBs, I will gain the initiative. Okay. So then I will uh, travel through the Underdark. Mm -hmm. I'll behave. Undercity. <laughs> Undercity, yeah. I'll travel through the Underdark and get to the Undercity. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I'll put a counter on there so we know we're up to. I will go get basic land to my hand. I will grab a mountain. Close and shuffle. And that goes to my hand. And then, <coughs> with only one mana open, Not much else I can do, so I will pass the turn. Okay. Cool. Right. Uh, play another mountain. Oh yeah, untap the runaway stinking as well. Must re must remember that. Uh, right. <clears throat> <clears throat> right, I am Yeah, let's do that Tap Tap 5 I'll play Jaya, Venerated Fire Mage uh -huh. So, 5 loyalty I now start dealing more damage So Jaya goes on with 5 loyalty Runaway Steam King goes to Three plus and plus encounters. Right. <clears throat> Shall go to combat. Um, 
Uh, Chrono, I will send Chandra at you for three damage. For three damage, okay. Yeah. I will take three commander damage. You've been punched in the face by a little girl. Well done. <laughs> I mean, appearances are very deceptive. Uh, this is true. Uh, right. So I've got... Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to remove three plus plus crimes from runaway steam in my second main, so I have three red. Mm -hmm. Tap... Um... Tap the mountain for four to play a Felhide Spirit Binder. So, a few things happen. I untap Chandra. Counter goes back on Runaway Steam Kin. Uh, impact Tremors happens. This deals two damage to each of you now because of Ooh, Jaya. Yeah. Yep. Then I will then tap Chandra, deal. Two damage to uh, Woody. Oh, okay. Because I'm not to get through to you yet, so uh, it makes it even, doesn't it, around the table? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I get to chance on Chandra. She becomes Chandra Roaring Flame. Yep. And for loyalty, so okay. And then I will tick her up to. Um, I'll take her up to five. I will deal two damage directly to Jason. Cool. Oh, no, it's free, sorry, because of uh, Jaya. That's fine. And then I will pass the turn. Cool. I'm tired. Uh, I can draw. I'll play Saran, Senior Artificer. Mm -hmm. uh, tap one for Basilisk Collar. <laughs> I will oh, like nice. draw. Uh, attempt to equip Basilisk Collar for two onto Aramix. Seems good for me. No response here. No response. <clears throat> okay, so Aramix is now 3, 2, Life Link, and Death Touch. Ooh. Question is, is where do we point this? So what's the best? See what happens. Uh, cool. Uh, Aramix is going to. I'm going to declare him as an attack at. Uh, shit, do I go directly to Chris or to the planeswalkers? Alright, this is just a one attack, so that's fine. Um, okay, I will attempt. Uh, to swing Aramix into Jaya. Yeah, I would have said Jaya as well. Uh, Jaya. So on attack, on attack, uh, Aramix will trigger. Um, I will discard a claims. Um, it will then give uh, cre target creature defending player controls minus two minus two because of the number of artifacts that control does it not count itself so it'd be three uh, th yes it does actually i always forget the three um i'm going to uh, yeah i'll target this the run runaway steam killer so runaway scheme kim will die yep minus three minus three uh, and yeah. Okay, how big is Aramix? Three. 
Um, I'll touch. block with the fell hide spirit binder. It does have uh, life link death touch just in case that changes. Uh, in that case, I'll block with the smoldering egg then. Uh, so smoldering egg dies. I gain three. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, that's me. So you go. Okay. So untap. Draw. Okay. Deck, you will start to need to do things, I hope. <laughs> Um, we will play a homeward path. Three, four, five, six. We will then play. Can I actually create two white? I Okay. So the only thing I'll be able to play right now is one, two, three. I'll play Tenza Godo's Mall. Which nice. is a legendary equipment to give plus one plus one, plus two plus two if it's legendary, and if it's red it will also have trample. Um and I will Unfortunately, have to pass turn. Okay, and um, tap and draw. Hmm. Uh, okay, I will play a mountain. Oh my god, my mouse is doing my head in. Mountain for the land for mm. turn. Oh, in fact, before I do that, I will um, venture into the next room on upkeep. Let's do that in the right order. Uh, so I will choose to put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. I am going to put it on to my under mountain adventure. I think one and two. Now I'll go play my land for the turn. And I will use the path and a red I will play a Hamlet Captain uh, whenever Hamlet Captain attacks or blocks other human creatures you control get plus one plus one till end of turn uh, that is human which shares a creature type with my commander so I will scry um, Yeah, we can leave that on top. Then I will pay four to dash in a flamer, flamer rush rider, which says whenever they attack, put a token into the battlefield tapped and attacking that's a copy of another target attacking creature. Exile the Exile the token at the end of combat. Um, so I will go to combat. Um, do one. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter if it dies. So I will swing at Jason with my solemn. And I will swing my rider at Chrono. And then I will make a copy of. Um, my robot and go get a land. Okay, go... well, no blocks from me. Uh, I declare no blocks from myself. A forest. Uh, ooh. Close. Sure. Uh, Brill. So, in fact, where does the where does the attacking token go? Uh, you choose. Oh, uh, I will send the token at Rev. Just to share it round a bit. Uh, yeah, I'll block. Uh, is it just going straight to my face? Yes. Uh, no blocks. I'll take two. Okay. So that will exile, which means I don't get to draw off that. I mean, it's quite good. That's quite a good way to get some ramp, though, isn't it? Yeah, so. but I'd have liked the card draw. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Um, what have I got access to? I've got access to three. So yeah, so second main I will uh, tap the adventurer and I will tap a ruby and I will play uh, a Rinus, which is probably pronounced wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, three three with death touch and uh, whenever they attack I can return a land from my graveyard to the battlefield. Nice. Uh, so then I'll go to my end step and I'll return my rider to my hand. Well, that's everything. Okay. I'm so distracted. It's because um, my cat is on the table next to me, and I'm just <laughs> waiting for her to maybe try and get on get on camera. <laughs> that's fine. We don't mind guest appearances. Oh mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she. Uh, it wouldn't be a war room stream if I didn't have her on appearance. <laughs> I just like to joke that she gets flashed in as an indestructible blocker. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh... Hmm. Trying to work out. Uh, uh, tap one, two. I'll tap four. Um, I think this may be my best option. Tap four. I am going to play. I'm going to play Chain Reaction. Oh. Uh, X damage to each creature, X number of creatures on the battlefield. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight creatures, I count. That sounds dreadful. Yes, it does. No responses, I believe. I got nothing from me. Nothing from me. <laughs> I mean, Probably Chris gets to draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I, I lose my Fell Height Spirit Binder, but has to be done. I mean, had any no things of what they were. <clears throat> I will draw my card. Uh, and then I will tick Chandra War and Flame up to six loyalty. I will deal... I'll deal free damage to Woody. Oh, okay. Keep the... Uh... Now, does that count as commander damage, or is it only if she's a creature? Uh, it's only if she's if it's combat damage. Okay. Yeah. Well, nah, good old burn. Doesn't dis doesn't uh, discriminate. Um I will pass the turn. Cool. Uh, mm. Untap. Yeah. Place one. Uh tap. Uh, one and two white for Kenba, Car Region. Uh, beginning of upkeep, create two two white cat creature token uh, for each equipment uh, that is attached to Car, uh, which, no surprise, I would then tap two and equip Car with the Basilisk Collar. And that's me. Last turn. Okay, untap. Right. <clears throat> sure. Um, okay, well, I will tap the Pillar of Origins to play an indulgent aristocrat, a 1 1 life linking vampire. Yeah. Uh, <clears> that will allow me to sack creatures to put counters on things. <clears throat> I will play a Clifftop Retreat. My land. Uh, and then and here comes the cat <laughs> flash <it back. laughs> uh and actually since i can't do anything else i will tap one where are you sitting <laughs> okay you're sniffing the deck box okay i'll and tap uh... one to equip tenza uh to the aristocrat and say go there's your impact tremors avatar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll untap and go to upkeep. I will have target uh, rev mm -hmm. lose five life. Yeah, that's totally fair. And then I'll go to draw. Yeah. 
Where do I lose the five life from? Uh, from oh, the it under the... dark. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that's fine. Cool. Trap. <laughs> You've been trapped. Uh, okay. Everybody. Cam? Have you got any blockers other than the indestructible cat blocker, Rev? Um, <laughs> no, just the indestructible cat blocker. Okay. Just a one-one indestructible cat blocker, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just checking. It's a zero one, is it? <laughs> zero one. <laughs> yeah, I she's secretly a stuffy dog. I don't think there are any zero one cats in 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 Magic. They're all They're at least only... one one. Yeah, yeah I've, I've, I've noticed them at two twos, aren't they? At least most of the tokens sometimes are. So yeah, there's yeah. the one wing, one one life linkers from Amon Cat. Uh, um, yeah. One one vigilance from somewhere, and I think just plain one ones from anointed healer. Oh yeah, and then you've got the cat dragons as well. Yes, uh, those are three three flyers and very very cute. <laughs> <laughs> so I will have played uh, a lightning runner, double strike with haste, and whenever lightning ru runner attacks, I get two energy, Ooh. and I can pay. I think it's eight without counting it again. Two, four, I think. Yeah, eight. Pay eight energy, and I can untap all creatures I control. And after this <clears> phase, <throat> there is an additional combat phase. So that's quite nice. That's a bit flash, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, and I'll tap these the wrong way, because I could have played that with my path. Uh, but I'm going to play a Beast Caller a Servant as well. So very hasty you now. Uh, I'm going to go to combat with my lightning runner. And uh, it's got to go at you, Rev. Yeah, got how much damage? Uh, at, it at, Rev be... or, at Rev or at uh, Jaya? Well, that makes it sound like you want me to go for Jaya. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Jaya hurt, hurts all of us. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Because that's increasing the damage. Uh... Yeah. Mm. Go on, I'll go with the table this time, and we'll go at Jaya. How much damage? Uh, it will be four. Yeah, okay, it's down to one door to them. And I will gain uh, two energy, which I'm not quite sure how I'm going to denote on here. Yes, more for the camera, back. That's a good girl. <laughs> hmm. mm. your little nose, because you like your nose. There you are, your view count will just go up now. <laughs> uh, that will be me after that. I'm just trying to find some kind of token. Right. I'd better um, draw, at least. Um, right. I'd better... I could untap a few things. I'll put the sewing down here. I'm trying to play around the cat at the moment. <laughs> uh... Uh, I'll tap four. I'll bring out Jaya, Fiery Negotiator. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to tick her down to free loyalty to exile the top two cards of my library. Um, oh, I can choose one of them and play it this turn. Maggie, stop trying to call me. <laughs> trying to call me now. Um, That's what you get for using as a blocker. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to get off the table. Right, I'm going to... I think I need to play the mountain, so the Blasphemous Act is staying exiled. So... Oh yeah, my creature will be tapped. Uh, right, I can bring back my dice now. Okay, and Fire Negotiator is at... Free. Okay, right. I am, I am sorted now. Uh, now what to do? I will... Because I'm pretty sure she will go next turn regardless. Um, I will get use up Jaya, send her at Fire Mage. I will deal two damage. Actually, no, I won't do her first. I just realised that's a bad idea. <laughs> I'll take Chandra... War and Flame up to seven loyalty <coughs> to yeah. 
deal three damage. Um, I'll send that out, Woody. Okay, okay. Take and three. Then... Yeah, it's hope power, isn't it? Um, Jason, what's the power toughness of your oh, Kemba uh, at the moment? Kemba's just a two four. Two four, right? Can Death to life link. link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't take that out. Um, how big's your vampire chrono? At the moment, 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I'm going to use up all of Jaya's loyalty. I'm going to deal two damage to your vampire. Okay, sure. Yep. <sighs> the board under control as best I can. Novice, even though. Just gonna make every, just make every, I'll just make everyone angry. You know? <laughs> um, I think that'll be my turn. I will have to pass. Yeah. Play of the red. Okay, I can sit back down now. No, I don't have to draw. Stone to pay one into Opal Palace for black. Uh, two, three, four, and five from here. Uh, I'm going to cast Aramix. He will come in with two. One one counters, I believe. Numbers of times, so yeah. So this is the second time he's been casted from the command zone. Cool. Do I swing? Yeah, I, I mean, Chandra is on emblem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was going to say, what is her emblem again? We each take three damage. Oh, well, yeah. we take six from the activation and then an emblem which deals us three. Yeah, that's, that's not. Uh, right, Kemba uh, will go ahead and swing into Char Chandra a Roaring Frame for two. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'll we'll keep the. Uh... Uh, oh, no. I can. Actually, an idea. Sorry, I may actually. I might be able to respond to that. Yeah. Tap. So. I'm going to tap three. I don't know if this is the, this is probably, this is not the correct application of it, but I'm going to play dual caster mage, mm -hmm. flash in that. I don't have anything to copy, but I'll use dual caster mage as, a, as, a, as an impromptu blocker against Kemba. Yeah. I don't see why. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Impact tremors trigger. You will yeah. take one, yeah. Yeah, impact tremors will trigger, but yeah, otherwise. That's it. So, dual cast mage will then die in the anyway, but you know, never, never flash that in as an impromptu blocker. But uh, always good to have options. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's me then. Uh, All right. On tap. Oh great. <clears throat> right. Well, let's play it in isolated chapel. We will. Two, three, four, five, six. Sure, we will pay full retail for Lethia, since I do not appear to be drawing any other creatures at the moment. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> and uh, pass the turn. Okie dokie. I need a new battery for my mouse. 
Untap and draw. And then quickly read this card. Uh, okay, that's a thing. So I play a forest for the turn. And I just need to work out a bit of maths. And triggers. Because that's on attack. And then this is... Tapped and attacking, so that doesn't help me out. So that's fine. Uh, okay, so... For... Two, I will play uh, Horn of the Mark. Uh, in fact, before I even do that, before I even play my land, <laughs> mm -hmm. missing triggers. So, oh, man. <coughs> right, I'll put my land back in the hand. So, what I'm up to? I get to draw a card off the Under City, triggering. Ooh, does a thing as well. Cool. Right now, I'll play my Forest. And I'll play Horn of the Mark. Now in the correct order. <laughs> um, so whenever I, whenever two or more creatures I control attack a player, look at the top five cards of my library. I may reveal a creature from among them and put it to my hand. Put the rest in the bottom, at uh, the bottom of my library in a random order. Oh, nice. Huh? Yeah, not bad. Uh, then I will cast one, two, three, four. <coughs> five, uh, one, two, three, four, and five to cast Wolfguard of Icewind Dale, which has melee, uh, and if a creature I control attacking would cause a triggered ability of a permanent I control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time, which is quite nice. Hmm. So, what else have I got? We will tap this elf for a green. Oh, in fact, I've missed my scry. So I'll just scry for playing Wolfgar. Uh, that can stay on top. That's good. Uh, now I'll tap my elf for a green and play a veteran explorer. Uh, when veteran explorer dies, we can all go and get. Uh, we can. All, we may all search our libraries for up to two basic land cards and put them into play. Wow. Nice. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. good. Friendly. Hmm. Um, I am going to go to combat. And uh, let's take Chandra down a peg or two. Yeah, I figured this was coming. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to swing with the Lightning Runner. So I'll, this time I'll get four energy because I'll get two okay. triggers off Wolfgar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to set that to six energy. So we know where we're up to. Uh, that's going to be my only attacker. How big? Uh, just a two-two double strike, so it'll be four total damage. Cool. Down to three loyalty. And then that'll be me. Okay, until tap. Okay. Right. Um. Can't do. That. Uh. Right. Figure out what I want to do now. Um. Right, I think I'll tick. Uh, really, what work I want to do? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I will tick Jaya up to four. I'll make a monk token. And normally, I don't actually have a monk token, so I will have to use this lovely little Merry Christmas token. <laughs> So, and then I will tap. Oh, yeah, that triggers impact tremor, so if one takes one. Yep. Then I'm going to pay. 
I'm going to pay um, four. I'm going to play Fiery Confluence. So, prowess trigger on the monk. Oh. Uh, choose three. I may choose the same move more than once. So, I'm going to do Fiery Confluence, deal one Dean and one damage to each creature. Okay. So, I think that just takes out the Veteran Explorer. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. So, which no one's going to be too bothered about because of that. Um, no, we all get two will... when that goes as well. So, yeah. Going to be so, I'm going to destroy Tiger Artifacts. I'm going to get rid of the Bastard's Collar on Jason's side. Ooh. Resolves. Uh, yeah, resolves. Uh, uh, how big is oh, my, uh, my Mana Dork will go as well. Okay. And I'll do the one damage to each creature again. No. Okay. <clears throat> actually, no, no, because if I do that, I'll lose my monk token. No, actually, it's entirely up to you. I because yeah. I could probably do with even a lock her up. So no, I will just do two damage to each opponent um, instead. Okay. Okay. In, but in in the spirit of being open to everybody, everyone knows I've got the rush rider in my hand. Mm -hmm. which can copy the lightning runner mm -hmm. so after, on my next turn I can have infinite combos uh, co um, combat phases uh, yeah let's do um, the fire comp let's do the one damage reach creature so in that case I'll, uh, so, yeah I'll be yeah. open about that yeah I'll lose my monk but that's fine um, yeah so if you took the two life already just put it back on so right and I think that's gone away so now we get to search for two basics yeah okay. nice <clears throat> one, two basics. Uh, untapped. Um, untapped. Untapped. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, I think it is just going to be. Get a swamp and a forest. Oh, yeah, plains and. Uh... Uh... Too many lands on the board now. Ah, there we go. I probably... Okay, two lands. And then untapped. Just reshuffle my library together. Pick up all the way. Oh, there's a swamp. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, right. <clears throat> so, looks like that's all resolved. Yep, fiery conference resolved. Yep. Uh, Veteran Explorer thing resolves, right. There you are. I did something nice for everyone. I gave you all basic plans. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I did that. <laughs> well, I helped. I, I expedited the process. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Um, so I will tick Chandra by one. Uh, I'll do two damage to Jason. Cool. Then tap five. I'll play Embermore Hellion. I probably should have done that first, but never mind. Um, impact Tremors triggers, so everyone yeah. takes two. Okay, so Gaia, Gaia version 2. <laughs> yeah, and that will be my turn. I will pass turn. Can't do anything else. Uh, in response to the end step, I will tap a black. I'm going to play Tragic Slip um, because creatures have left. The creature has died uh, this turn. I will play Tragic Slip. Uh, and give the Ember Hall more highly and minus 13, minus 13. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I was actually going to save that for Wolfgar, but the, <laughs> the Ember Maul came down, so I was just like, well, that can't happen. Yep. <laughs> Gotta be done. Okay, okay. Tap up, keep draw. Yeah, go 
play another place. for a mass of memory. Uh, tap one to equip mass of memory onto Kemba. Looks like there's not much else to do, so I'll keep our mix back as an attacker, as defender even. Uh, Kemba will come and say hi. Uh, oh, it's player. Fine. Uh, I need the card draw anyway. Uh, we'll swing into Chris for two. Yeah. Uh, what, me or Woody? Uh, sorry, you, you Rev. Yeah, two damage. Uh, this trigger, combat damage triggers, I will draw two cards and then discard one. One, two. Uh, go ahead and discard a land. Then, uh, I might as well just play all this out then. Uh, tap two for an armory, sp armillary spear, and then crack it immediately, go get two basics, and then pass the turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. And tap. Now, hopefully, I can start doing at least something. <laughs> Right, untap. Draw. Ooh. That changes things. Mm, does it? Maybe not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They're both on four. One, two, three, for Spear of Heliod. Uh, Ooh. Nice. Creatures I control get plus one, plus one. Also got one double white, destroy target creature that dealt damage to you this turn. Uh, I will pay one for equipping Tenza to Lysia. Yep. So she gets plus three, plus three and trample now, I think. Yes, plus three, plus three, and trample from Oof. everything, so she is a seven. Yikes. Okay, well, <clears throat> uh, I am going to go to combat. Uh, I will swing at Revelo. Yeah. Uh, before damage, yeah. I am going to pay five life for... Uh -huh. To put three counters on Lysia. Yeah. I am also going to tap double red, uh, one, two, three, and flash in Ember Cleave, uh, equipping oh. it to uh, Lysia, giving her double strike as well, oh and an God. extra plus one plus one. Which is that, I believe is I seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's is lethal. Twenty-two commander damage. Yeah, I know. 
Damn. Hell of a good swing, then. Well played. Yeah. Uh, that also gets me 22 life for... What I've got next is Ren's Resolve, which I would have had to have played, which would have exiled Firebrand Archer and Torbrand. Okay. Oh, creatures would have been good then, but never mind. Uh, well played, Chrono. <laughs> I think I definitely deserve that. <laughs> I was, uh... um, past turn. Okay, untap, upkeep. Amy, I die first. <laughs> um. I will then go into the last room of the Undersea. Yeah. Which says, and get your... reveal the, sorry, not the reveal. Yeah, reveal the top 10 cards of your library. I may put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters. It gains hexproof until next my next turn. Then shuffle. Uh, then shuffle. One. Two. Give me a creature. <laughs> three. Four. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a Four, big one. Five. Six. Probably going to be this one. <laughs> uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ooh, that's, that's not a bad one either. Uh, let me just read the back side of that one. Yeah. Oh, it has to be a creature, yeah. It has to be a creature, yeah. So, uh, Ambergris is pretty good as well. But I'm going to put the Forerunners in. Nice 10-10 yeah. Forerunners. It's got to be the way. Um, so then do I just shuffle them back in with the library as well? Because it just says then shuffle. So I imagine it is. Usually it's like uh, rent. Was it bottom bottom of your library random order, right? Yeah, it just says well because it's not exiled, so it's because you because you <coughs> just revealed they technically haven't left your library. Uh, yeah, so that's why it's just saying shuffle. Uh, okay, so I can just put them in and shuffle the whole. Yeah, right, there yeah. We go, then. So, where's shuffle? There we go. Shuffled. It's the difference between reveal and exile. Uh, so four runners will come in. Yep. Uh, so other creatures I control have got plus two, plus two, vigilance and trample, which is mm -hmm. nice. I think that might have just saved me. Yeah, the vigilance is a. <laughs> it's a big one. Yeah. So then I'll go to my draw step and draw that. Oh, nice. So. I will pay three, one of which will be in red, for a burning... Remember the four eight run, the four runners have three plus one plus one counters as well. Oh, yes, thank you. Bro, so they are a 10-10. Ten, ten. Uh, so I will play a Burning Tree Vandal. I'll bring that on screen for everybody. Uh, I'm going to choose to give them haste. Mm-hmm. And then I will pay four to dash in the Flame Rush Rider. Mm hmm. Um, then I need to work out. You may discard a card if you do draw a card. Okay, well, if you don't have anything to discard, that is what it is. So I will go to combat. Yep. I will send the. Oh, I'll send the forerunners at Jason. Okay. I will send Wolfgar at Chrono. Yep. Then I'll send. Oh, Chrono, you're completely open, aren't you? I am completely open. Yes. Um. Oh, so you can have the rest. Uh, I better keep up. Ah, oh, that's fodder. Because I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need body parts, aren't I, to soak up some damage. So remember, if you attack at the moment with the burning tree and the flame rush, they will both be tapped. Uh, yeah, and flame rush is coming back to my hand anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I will, I will attack with the flame rush. I will leave the burning tree vandal back for an extra. 
soaking point of damage. Uh, but I'm going to target the forerunners. Yeah, of course. Copy. <laughs> which will come in, uh, tapped and attack in, and I'll I'll also send that at you, at Chrono. Okay. So is everything coming at me? Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna. S oh, actually, no. I will send. Mm, I need to send one to get the bonus to Wolfgar. I will send the burn injury vandal at um, Jason just so I can get my trigger and go against keeping it back. <laughs> um, okay, so so I'll get a horn of the mask <coughs> trigger, mm -hmm. and I'll get two of those. So I'll look at the top five. Oh, nice. Okay, so do that, and then so it's everything except the burning tree that's coming at me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, ten, seventeen, twenty, twenty-four. Um. Uh, sorry, just just to make it slightly more complicated for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because Wolfgar says if a creature you control attacking would cause a triggered ability of an of a permanent you control would would flame rush trigger again or no oh yes flame rush will trigger again so it'd be twice yes so it'll be uh, okay yes. two forerunners so, two forerunners again yeah. both coming at me um i think all three forerunners are coming at me or uh no i'll send that one at jason okay <clears throat> as well so because we can because things are going to get really complicated really quickly uh, so I, I've sit here and <laughs> so I've uh, selected to take the uh, cheering fanatics from my first five mm -hmm. uh, they'll go to the bottom of my library uh, like that and then I'll do it again so one two three four five and then I'll reveal gut True Soul Zealot. So those two guys will go to my hand. And then we can sort out how big everything is because two, four, three, effectively three forerunners have come in, haven't they? Uh, oh, so, yeah. Okay, Perfect. so let's work mine out, which I think is the quickest. Could be one, two. So mine will be uh, the, the forerunner should. Be a nine, nine. Uh, in fact, are they going to see each other as they come in together? They will, won't they? So they'll sell each other for the boost. So they will be nines. Because they don't count themselves. And then the melees will count. Right? Oh, no, no. no. Oh, wait, it's hang just, on. So, no, it's just Wolfgar itself. That yeah, them. that's only on Wolfgar. Um... That's so, oh, Wolfgar is one higher. Okay, right, yeah. Wolfgar will be two yeah. higher because his own trigger doubles. Yeah. Let me move back to what I was on and then I can work this out, okay. Yeah. Right. Ten. So, the first four runners that come in are only going to see Wolfgar. Yep. So, let me put temporary two counters on Wolfgar. No, that's just kind of complicated. So, two no, on Wolfgar. I, I, let me I, I, grab I, this piece we... of paper. <laughs> So Wolfgar is going to get plus two off the first four on it. Yep. Then I brought in the Flame Rider and the Burning Tree Vandal. Then go to combat, I make two lots of the Forerunners. Yep. So the original Forerunner will get plus two. Wolfgar will get another plus four. Yep. The Rider will get plus four. Yep. Uh, the Vandal will get plus four. Yep. I've got it. And the Forerunners get plus two each. Yep. I've got my damage down. So is that right for everybody? That sounds right. Do you have the numbers there? Because I, I, I didn't. I should have written them down. No, that's fine. But, I'll uh, work out the numbers separately. Yep. I've done the uh, the pluses, so I know yep. what they are. Because mm. uh, the wolf wolf guy is going to get his melee triggers, so he'll get yep. plus one. I get plus one for attacking Jason, and then plus one for attacking mm. you, Chrono. So that's two, and then it will double. So I'll get an additional four for Wolf Guard. So Wolf Guard will be 
a uh, eight ten a fourteen fourteen. Oh. Oof. Yeah. Uh, the original four runners are going to be a twelve twelve. Sorry, right. a fourteen fourteen as well. Yeah. Because they're going to see the other two four runners coming in. Yep. Um, then the flame rider is going to be a seven seven. Yeah. The other four runners, so the the token four runners will be a nine nine. Yeah. So that will be all of it together. Twenty eight thirty seven. Forty six. Uh. Forty six. <laughs> I am on one. You're on one. That's terrible. I can't yeah. believe I did that. With 14 commander damage. <laughs> uh, and then, Jason, you have got um, the Vandal, which will be a 6-5, yep. yep. and the Forerunners, which will be a 9-9. Nine, nine. Yep, got it. You got it. Perfect. Yep, I'm down to 10. Down to 10, right. I'm have to see if I can. Uh, let's uh... put that box on this that. Uh, let me remove all the counters off the Undercity. <coughs> yeah, I, I, I moved a little bit too quickly on mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've got two two mana left, so I'm going to play the Cheering Fanatic from my hand. And then these tokens will disappear. And the Rider will go back to my hand. And that is my turn, done and dusted. dispute my cat <laughs> uh, to draw two cards get a treasure so effectively one mana draw two cards one two okay Pure, pure Steel Paladin. Mm -hmm. um, do you have Metal Croft? Yes, you do. Yes, I do. It's just a question of where does this all go? Um, we'll tap six anyway. Uh, I'm going to pop down Argentum Armor. Nice. <laughs> Um, then I'm going to, I think it's got to be, yeah, I will <clears throat> equip for zero because I have metal craft. Oh, I should draw off pure steel and paladin first. Um, right. Do that. Uh, equip to car, cam to camber. <clears throat> yeah, fuck it. For one, I will play Shadow Spear or mm -hmm. Mon Knife. Nice. I will. Yeah, I think I go all in on it. Pop it onto Camber again. Uh, draw off Pure Steel Paladin. Right. Right. Now we six seven eight. Okay. Eight. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. So this means the group creature attacks. So I'm attack trigger. This is combat damage. Okay. Sorry. Just gonna do this first. So I got my buffs up first. That's a seven plus seven plus seven. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, swing here. Uh, right, I'm going to attack uh, Woody with Kemba and Aramix. There will be a few attack triggers to resolve first. Sure. Uh, Aramix, I will resolve first. I will discard a swamp. My current artifact count is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, I will give Wolfgar minus 8, minus 8. Seems reasonable. <clears throat> uh, Argentum armor will trigger. I will destroy the Enrace Forerunners. Okay, can I, bef I agree that that is a good target. However, yeah. <laughs> Chrono can one shot us. Don't forget that. I know. That's the problem. The Ember Cleave is the other issue as well. Mm. Uh, hang on. I got... Especially if you. Because you've not swung anything at Chrono. <laughs> no. No, I mean. That's the thing. I mean, I died to a stiff breeze here, but... Yeah, I know, I know. I was going to say, Corona, if I, if I don't... If I don't pop the Amber Cleave, can I... Can, can you I, swing at Woody and kill him, is what he's saying. Yeah, can, can I let you... Yeah, I, let, I will. I let, <laughs> I let you have the honours. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll put the forerunners in my I'll let, I'll, let, I'll, let you, I'll let you kill Woody. I'm more than happy with that. <laughs> No, no, I'll let I'll let you have the honors with your um, with your commander. <laughs> uh, anyway, so How many... that resolve. Yeah. So attack all resolves. Uh, error mix uh, is a five four. Yep. Uh, Kemba is getting a plus seven plus seven, so he is a nine eleven. So that's fourteen total. Uh, I will gain I'll take 11. Going to so 8. In Shadow Sphere, I will draw 2 from the Mask of Memory. I will discard a planes. I oh, see, now you've gained a bunch of life. Yeah, no, he's gonna, he's probably gonna swing at me now. Um, but I think that's all me done. Go ahead, scroll now. Okay. <clears throat> Untap. Uh, don't have any upkeep triggers. Uh, we'll draw. I mean, that's interesting, but I don't think it helps me. So, I think... So I can't pay any more life, unfortunately, at the moment. Uh, so that's seven. Yeah, this hasn't changed, so that's an 11. Uh, uh, it's an 11, 11. Yep, since you were so kind, Jason, I am going to send Licia at... Uh, at uh, Woody. It's an 11, 11, double strike, trample. A first strike lifelink. Yeah, I will declare no blocks. Okay. Uh, thus denying me a second lot of life. Yep. Uh, I will only gain 11. <laughs> uh, go to 12. <clears throat> okay. Nicely done, mate. Uh, oh, um, Jason also has the initiative, sorry. So you could have gotten. Oh, you yeah. can go get yourself a basic land to your hand. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well that's pointless at the moment. 
this is all of that. Um, playing that is not going to help me. <coughs> so, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, can I do that? Yeah. None of that actually helps me right now. So, I will pass the turn and see what happens. <laughs> That's on upkeep for the under city triggers for the initiative, uh, which probably means what's the next one? Uh, Lost Well Scry 2. Okay, yeah, uh, I'll Scry 2. I will put one on the top, one on the bottom. Uh, I will create one, two, three, three cats. Um, this is going surprisingly not too bad with this particular cat. Uh, drop a turn. Uh, well, I think we may have got it, but we'll see just in case. <coughs> okay. Right, land for turn. Uh, right, tap one, two. I will play Sword of Feast and Famine. Ooh, nice. Uh, draw off Pure Steel Paladin. I will think. Yeah, I say think. Let's see. Um, oh, how many cats have you made off Kemba? Does it make three? Not enough. You should always make more cats. <laughs> uh, more. Not enough, unfortunately. Uh, but I will equip uh, the sword onto Kemba. Uh, yeah, sure, go on. Let's dig a little deeper just in case. Um, for a commander spear. Float a white, crack it, draw. Okay, I think I've... Yeah, I think I've got it. Because I'm going to Diabolic... I've just drawn Diabolic Tutor. Okay. So, what's going to happen is... I'm going to get Fire Shrieker. Which is the... Yep, that gives it double strike. Yeah. How much are you on? 12. Yeah. No, actually, I got a better. I've just seen a better one. Hmm. Bilbo's ring. What does that do? Ooh. So this is uh, basically as long as as long as my turn, equipped creature has hexproof and can't be blocked. When equipped creature attacks alone, you draw a card, lose one life. So I'm going to diabolic tutor for Bilbo's ring. I'm okay. Going to play play it out. Right. Right. I know I'm doing this at a speed that may not be conducive. Oh no, no, that that's fine. It's it's a complicated turn. Yeah. Uh, I will draw off the pure steel paladin. Mm hmm I will then equip onto Kenba. Yep. The Kenba is now hexproof and can't be blocked unless there is a response to that equip. Sure. How big is Kemba at present? Ke uh, Kemba is currently a, uh, what do you say, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 11, is currently an 11, 15, before <clears throat> Bilbo's ring gets on. Okay. However, the sword is on her currently. Sure. So it is pro green, pro black. In yeah. And interactions. Okay. That all resolves, sir. So. Uh, sweet. Then I swing with Kemba and Aramix plus uh, Pure Steel Paladin. 
Uh, so Kemba's a... What is that? What did I just say she was? Uh, Something like 15. It, it was 11, 11, 15, yeah. Yeah, 11, 15. Uh, Pure Steel is a 2, 2. Aramix is a 5, 4. Okay. When Armix's trigger goes, attack trigger goes on the stack. Go. Um, <clears throat> one, two, three, uh, Teferi's protection. Uh, Sweet. Uh, life title can't change, and I have protection from everything. All my permanents phase out. Uh, Oof. Nice. Nicely done. Uh, I do not have a response to. Oh, actually. I do have a response. No, no that's a sorcery card. <laughs> yeah, I just saw that. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, all resolves. Okay. Uh, no damage is dealt. I do not get any of my triggers. Uh, ooh, that's a question. Because, oh, then I suppose in response the Teferi goes off, then Argentum armor will see nothing. And can't interact with anything. Yeah, that's fine. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Oh, you can re-equip for zero still, can't you? Yeah, I can still re-equip for zero, but do I want to? I think so. No, because even protection here won't do me good. Because Godo's small gives you trample. Yes. And and the cleave is double strike. Yes, double strike trample in it. Yeah. Double strike trample from Ember Cleave. Uh, trample from Tender's Godo Maul. Yeah, um, nice. yeah. I also have Sun Home Fortress of the Legion to potentially give a creature double strike as well. Yeah. Are uh, you? Okay. <clears throat> Untap. No upkeep triggers. <laughs> That's uh how mm, how dangerous would it be to do that? Uh, probably a bit. Um do that if I need to. So... Ten. Don't need to do that. How much uh, How much blockers have you got? Uh, currently three blockers, so I have six total uh, blocking power. You have six total blocking power. Okay, I'm currently doing 22. Uh, 14, yeah. So you basically need over. You need an additional six more just to get through. I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's pay five life. Yeah, oh, as you do. Cool. Five mm -hmm. to put another three counters on Lethia. So that's ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So this is currently twenty. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Let's uh, hang on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <clears throat> no, sorry, because Embercleave gives plus one, plus one as well. Mm -hmm. So 14. So currently doing 28. Uh, I think you're on the mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 28 minus. Yeah, that's All right. It. Go to combat. Uh, with my 14-14 double-striking trampler. Yikes. In response, I will crack the treasure for white. Yeah. <laughs> You've got it. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, GG's. <laughs> I was just wondering if you had a, a, a Teferi's protection in return. No, 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 no. Hey, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the game. I just want to say thank you for watching the video. And an extra special thank you to our Patreons who support the channel behind the scenes. If you'd like to join our Patreon, you can check out the link in the description below.